Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Sheldon and this is another episode of Behind the Enthusiast. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different, instead of cars, instead of motorcycles, I'm going to be showing you guys my utility trailer. Now this trailer is going to be a combination of three things. Obviously it's a trailer, it has wheels, I can move it, so picking up new motorcycles or parts or anything like that that don't normally fit into a truck or a car. Obviously I can put it in this. Storage shed, obviously if I want to use it during the winter for storage, I can do that. I can park it wherever I want, take the wheels off, whatever, and you know, just use it as a shed. As a garage, obviously if I want to put a motorcycle into it and start wrenching on it, I could put a, you know, a, a workbench in there, you know, tool bench, whatever you want to call it. So. It can actually be used as three different things and so I'm gonna go over in detail what I actually have planned for this trailer show you guys the good and the bad things about it so let's get into it so taking a walk around obviously you know there's a little bit of rust some things have been taped the wheels are actually pretty decent shape there is a toolbox on the front here, as you guys can see. A little bit of damage here, standing in there. <laughs> damage there, obviously there's more on the inside as well. Uh, it's covered in uh, bird crap already. A little bit rusted here and there. It does have one of those outlets. It's not wired, unfortunately. And at the back, some more rust. Here and there, missing um, piece over there goes into there. But I think I'm just gonna make one because I don't really know where to find one. And so aside from that, there's not too much else wrong with. It. It's actually really hot in here, so it's going to be really nice if I decide to work in here during the summer. I can just open up the back door here. I can open up the man door as well. I do have lights, so I've got two of those. Everything is wired. Um, I am in the process of working on some of the wiring, so <laughs> disregard the wiring right now because it does look a little messy. I am already starting to work on it. Um, I did sweep up a little bit already, so most of this is swept up. There's a pile there. So I've got a pile of dirt and other crap. I'm actually going to get the vacuum out so that I can suck up all the dirt and debris that is in here. Um, some of the bad stuff is there's some water damage, as you guys can see, the discoloration. This is, this is fine, but this is all water damage here. Uh, I do have a fire extinguisher in here as well, which is really nice. And the walls, I am going to do something with the walls. It is kind of, uh, you know, missing, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, right here, you guys can see that this has been painted. However, some of this other stuff is bare. I'm not entirely sure why, but some of it's been painted, some of it has not. So I'm going to sand that paint that and there is the inside of that corner so that is something that I'm gonna have to just take a hammer to and just straighten that out other than that it's fine it's actually got I think this is some sort of weather stripping waterproofing around the bottom here which is really nice this looks OEM so that is gonna help with some of the water problems that I actually have in this and as you guys can see more water damage there so I may not necessarily replace these pieces um, because it's more to do with the outside. So as long as these don't start, you know, becoming brittle, should be okay. This is fiberglass. It's the only piece of fiberglass on the trailer, as far as I know. And the man door, it functions. There's no issues with that. I'm going to probably open that while I start working in here again. As you guys can see, Lots of stones in there. And there was uh, 
you know, like I said, a little bit of water damage. I'm not entirely sure what they used this trailer for before I bought it, but there's a pile of stuff. It's gotta get cleaned out. So I'm gonna get the vacuum out. I'm gonna start working on it. And overall, considering this is uh, my first trailer, I got a relatively good deal on it, you know, compared to what the, uh, the market value is for most of these trailers right now, especially if you're looking at a brand new one, they're kind of expensive. COVID has, well, COVID and, and the pandemic really has made prices go so far through the roof that this was actually a really good deal you know the more you look at the pricing nowadays so like i said it's it's actually pretty decent i mean that corner right there i mean there's no water damage whatsoever on that area it's just certain areas of the trailer mainly the front and the left hand side there is all water damage there but I'm gonna go over this thing very, very thoroughly. I'm gonna redo a lot of things. I'm gonna be sanding and painting. Probably gonna insulate it as well. That is the plan anyway. And up here, I'm probably gonna utilize, probably, I wouldn't say all of the space here because this is, this is approximately two feet, I figure. I'm gonna put some sort of bench in there I don't think it'll be this high, probably be a little bit lower, basically around my waist level so that I can actually have kind of a desk to work on, you know, if I decide to, I don't know, put a, a table here and then maybe get a vise or something, you know, because the, the garage is really crowded and it's always nice to have your own little personal space because then you're not getting in the way of anyone else. And for me, in my case, it would be my dad. So I'm going to have my own personal space to work in. Even if it's just temporarily for five or ten minutes, I can, you know, get my toolbox. I can bring it out here, put it on my table, wrench away. I'm not going to have power to it just yet. I do have to figure that out. Um, I think the plan is to get some sort of deep cycle battery and use a solar panel because it's going to be you know i can put that something on the roof right so that should be the plan there and other than that i think the floor i think we're going to do some sort of resin with sand in it that was my dad's idea anyway and so i think that's what we're going to go with and we'll probably put some sort of um system in the corners not necessarily rails for, you know, tying down uh, if I decide to take a bike in this or, you know, if I buy a new motorcycle or something like that. You know, I am going to need some sort of tie down points. So, you know, maybe four on each side or whatever. But huge plans for this. There, there is a lot of potential here. It's actually a really good trailer for, you know, all things considered. It's actually a really good trailer. So it may look a little rough, obviously. Water damage, some rust here. So there is some cosmetic things that I have to figure out. But in terms of the value and everything else, like this, this is a really good buy. You know, and like I said, most trailers nowadays, you could easily spend $10,000. And if you're gonna utilize it the way that I'm going to, well, attempt to anyway, you're basically putting three different things all in one and you're maximizing the usability of the trailer. So it's going to have, you know, such, such good value and potential. And I think nowadays, as someone who is an enthusiast, someone who is trying to do things on a budget, you have to do this sort of thing. You can't buy a trailer, build a shed, and build a garage, and expect to afford absolutely all of it. You know, you can't go out and buy premium supplies for all three of those things and expect to afford all of it. So basically this is a budget trailer build. And I'm going to be 
doing as much work as I possibly can on my own. So anything that I can make out of coat hangers or something like that, I'm going to be utilizing those types of materials. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Obviously, like I said, the wires, everything functions on the trailer. All the wires, the lights, everything works. So I'm not disconnecting anything. I'm just basically figuring out whatever I need to do for that outlet. That is literally the only thing that I have to figure out. I'm not entirely sure what was supposed to be there, but obviously it was removed. So that is the only electrical thing that needs to be, you know, figured out on uh, the trailer. So I'm going to do some research, ask some people what they think about that in particular. So that is going to allow me to plug into some external power source if need be. However, if I can't get that figured out, like I said, I'm going to do a solar panel probably on the roof somewhere and have a deep cycle battery and then wire that battery into this cord, which will then power those two lights. Well, guys, what do you think of my plans for this slightly rough around the edges trailer build? I know I'm going to be trying to do multiple things, you know, basically turn it into three different things out of one. So a three in one project. But it is something that I'm super excited about because this is the first time I'm actually, you know, going out and, and doing something on my own. Like I said, I'm going to start sweeping up some more of the stuff in the back. I already got a pile there. I'm going to get the vacuum out. I'm going to suck up all of the stones and everything else that's in here. I'm going to open up the man door as well, just so I get some more airflow because it is actually really hot out and the heat is just kind of soaking in the trailer. So I'm just going to start sweating very soon, but hopefully you guys like this video. It's just an introduction of to what the plans are. I'm going to give you guys updates all throughout the summer, obviously. So if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button so I know that it's working. If you guys have any comments or questions, if you guys have built your own trailer to kind of serve as, you know, a multiple, you know, actual you know, service and storage and you know, travel, transport, whatever. If you guys have already done something like this, let me know how your experiences went. Let me know if you guys did it on a budget or if you guys just, you know, whatever you wanted, if it was premium or whatever, you guys just built it. I've seen a lot of builds on YouTube already that turned out really, really nicely. And you know what? Even though it does look nice, a lot of guys have actually admitted that they were very thrifty they bought things on sale and that's hopefully what i'm going to be able to do as well despite all of the increasing prices due to the pandemic so fingers crossed that i can keep this still a budget type build so that's it for me in this one as usual be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future content on the channel and i will catch you guys in the next one